This film is intended for eye surgeons for training and education purposes. Viewer discretion is strongly recommended. Hi. In this video, we'll learn about nucleus management, which is a critical step during manual small incision cataract surgery. Of course, we do have a definitive surgical goal here that is a traumatic extraction of the nucleus. The process of managing the nucleus is a two-step procedure. Number one is prolapsing the nucleus out of the bag into the anterior chamber and then extracting the nucleus out of the anterior chamber through the sclerocorneal tunnel. Let's see in this case. The nucleus is being prolapsed out of the bag bimanually using two Sinsky hooks. Then under the cover of viscoelastic, it's being extracted out of the anterior chamber using the phaco sandwich technique. Now before we learn the process, let us remind ourselves about our goal of nucleus management. So what do we mean by a traumatic extraction? Well, it means that protecting the corneal endothelium and preserving the capsular bag during the maneuvers. Uh, let's understand the surgical principles. There are two distinct obstacles during nucleus extraction. One at the level of the rexus, uh, because the nucleus diameter is usually bigger than the diameter of the rexus. Smaller rexus, more is the difficulty in mobilizing the nucleus. Number two is at the level of the sclerocorneal incision. Smaller the incision, more is the difficulty. The most important take home message, during the learning curve, our first priority is always safety first. With this priority, we can frame few thumb rules. Bigger is always better. Bigger rexus and bigger sclerocorneal incisions, at least in the initial learning curve. By following these principles, we can minimize the damage to the corneal endothelium and the capsulozonular apparatus. Let us begin with this case. A large sclerocorneal tunnel is fashioned, which is approximately about 7 mm. A larger excess measuring 6 mm is created. Gentle hydrodissection aids in loosening of the cortex and also aids a bit in the mobilization of the nucleus. This is the bimanual method of mobilizing the nucleus out of the bag using two Sinsky hooks. One of the hooks is pushing the nucleus down at the same time. The second hook is engaging the equator of the nucleus and then using the two instrument, the nucleus is rotated out of the bag. So let's examine this in slow motion. One hook is gently pushing the nucleus down. And the second one hooks the equator and now both the instruments are used to rotate or wheel the nucleus out of the bag. OVD is being injected around the nucleus. It's both below and above it. The OVD is our superhero. It protects the endothelium and also other structures like the iris in the capsule bag. Now time to perform the nucleus extraction. I'm demonstrating the phaco sandwich technique. Two instruments which are used are the wire vectus and the lens dialer. The vectus is slid under the nucleus and the lens dialer pushes the nucleus down and then the entire mass of the vectus in the nucleus and the Sinsky is pulled out through the main incision. Let us observe these steps through the side. Now this is a side view. The OVD is put below and in front of the nucleus and then the vectus gets under the nucleus and the dialer above it. It's important to note the vectus is engaging only two thirds of the length of the nucleus and this is important. This ensures that the iris is not engaged. The dialer pushes down on the nucleus and then the nucleus is encompassed between the vectus and the dialer. Now, the entire mass that is the dialer, the lens and the vectus are gently moved out, pulling the nucleus out of the antechamber through the sclerocorneal tunnel. Let us look at a few more cases. Uh, this is a decently large rexus. Hydrodissection is done. The nucleus is then bimanually wheeled out of the bag into the antechamber. Then the OVD is replenished in front and behind the nucleus and the nucleus is sandwiched between the vectus and the dialer and then it is extracted out. So the take home message here would be to master the art of mobilizing the nucleus out of the bag using the bimanual technique. Mastering the bimanual technique comes in really handy and helps us to mobilize the nucleus through smaller exercises and also in complex situations such as 
small pupil, weak zonules, etc. Hence, my recommendation would be to master this art of bimanual mobilization of the nucleus out of the capsular bag. Faco sandwich technique would be the preferred technique for a beginner and later on the surgeon can always graduate to the nucleus division techniques. So that's it. Thank you for watching and hope you found this helpful.